Hey guys, I'm back and as you can see my background has changed. Um, I've been gone for a long time because I had all kinds of life-changing events happen over the last six months and clearly I moved and I just haven't bought anything, haven't done any reviews or anything on YouTube. But um, that has changed because I made my first purchase in a really long time and <clears throat> it is actually my very first Prada purchase. I have never owned a Prada bag, ever. Um, almost pulled the trigger on many of them over the years and just for whatever reason didn't until I saw this bag come up. And if anyone's been following my channel for a while, you'll as soon as you see it, you'll get why I bought it. Um, so I'm gonna do a true unboxing. I have no idea how Prada packages their bags. Um, I, I, I don't know, so this is gonna be a first for me too. I got it at a Saks store and Saks in Boston and they thankfully had all the real product packaging instead of like a Saks bag because I know when you buy stuff at Bloomingdale's I'm pretty sure they give you Bloomingdale's stuff but anyways I could be wrong I'm having a hard time here opening this part I'm just gonna rip it so, I mean, this is the box that it comes in this is my first time seeing a Prada box it's really nice. It's cute, um, it has a nice black Prada ribbon. And the only thing is, is they don't give you a cute little package for your receipt, like Chanel does and Louis Vuitton. But um, <clears throat> here it is. It just came out, I think they said this week. Um, maybe, or they just got it in this week. But, um, well, you guys will see why I got it in a minute. So I'm going to open it up right here Let's see how it's packaged. So this is um, tissue paper, like thick tissue paper. It says Prada. And he was supposed to give me a dust bag. Oh, good. He just didn't put it in the dust bag. Oh, this is a nice dust bag. It's really soft. It says Prada. Uh, if you hear lip smacking, it's my dog right below me drinking water. Okay, so anyways... Here's the bag, and it is a nylon camera bag, which is the perfect size. This is my favorite size bag, but this is the reason why I had to have it. I have it crossbody right now, but you can double it up. Look at this strap, you guys. It reminds me of a belt I wore in the 90s when I was in high school, when, when I was a real hardcore punk rocker, and now I'm just punk rock on the inside but um check this thing out you guys I think it's really cool and this is just for decor this extra part that hangs so it has um a front pocket right here and my cell phone fits easily there's more paper in here so there's a front pocket here and there's no pockets on the back there and then it opens this way. I'll take, I was gonna take the stuffing out, but I guess I can. And so it's a big open space and there is an, oh, there's stuff in here. There is an in, inside zip pocket in here too. I know it's black, so it's hard to see. And the lining says Prada all over it. And then here's the plate, Prada Milano. And then it comes with, um, like this is like a care booklet. And this must be, oh, it's an authenticity card. Okay, and it has the date I bought it and the item number and all that stuff. I'm gonna put the stuffing back in it just so that you'll get an idea, I dropped some of it, of what it looks like when my stuff is in it on me. I will do a full review once I've used it, but I mean, first of all, it's black and neon pink with this leather studded strap which looks awesome crossbody i haven't i believe this is the longest setting it is adjustable um so this is what it looks like crossbody i'll probably wear it like this i usually tend to put my crossbody bags behind me like this and then you have this gorgeous strap 
it has white here with round studs and then it goes into hot pink with the pyramid studs and then the back is just black with studs there and then the back strap is plain so if if you wanted to wear it this way which i actually don't usually wear cross bodies this way but if you wanted it to be plain you know like business in the front party in the back you could also do that um this is a single strap which is a really good length i don't know if i'm have a good camera angle here to show you but um i want to show you the way it hangs because this extra strap hangs down too You back. Put you down so that's what it looks like. Um, here's the front up close. I'm going to adjust it now. It has those like where the button goes through the hole and it's these are always difficult especially when the leather is stiff and new. Um, I'm gonna try to do it right now, but it might take a while because, okay, I'm, I'm able to get it. So it just unhooks like that and then you can double it up if you wanna wear it long ways, let's see. And it is also adjustable different lengths this way too, so. This is one of the shorter lengths, or this might be the shortest. This is the shortest length, doubled up like this. So you see how it hangs with the belt. So it would hang like this in the front. If I held, if I wore it on this shoulder, which I wouldn't normally do, I always, I always hold it on my right. So this is what it would look like. And I will probably carry it like this at times, um, although I do prefer crossbody. And I like the way this strap lays crossbody and it's really comfortable. So anyways, um, I don't even know the name of this thing. I should probably know that. It is the New v Vela, New Vela, V-E-L-A. Um, so if anyone's interested, it just came out and this is nylon. This is all leather and it's really punk rock and cute and I love it. Thanks for watching guys.